Today, I'm honored, I'm honored to present AB uh, 1775, my bill, which seeks to address the misuse of the 911 emergency system as a tool for harassment and false police reports aimed at harassing a person based on their skin color or other protected classes. We've all seen the videos. Amy Cooper falsely accusing a bird watcher of threatening her life. Barbecue Becky calling police on a family picnic in an Oakland park. In addition, this term suspicious looking, only a few of us in this room know what it's like to be accused of being suspicious looking. Black and brown people have been experiencing this for, for, for centuries. We also know about in 1955, a young 14 year old named Emmett Till was lynched in Mississippi because a white woman said he offended her, a story which she, she recanted decades later. Okay. And now colleagues in this building, one of my staffers at, at the Costco here in, in Sacramento uh, was recording a woman that was, would not put on a mask at a Costco. She told him that she wanted to see the, the, the film that he had taken on his camera. And she said, if you don't give me that, I will call 911 and tell them that you've sexually assaulted me. And if you don't give me your phone or delete that video, well, guess what she did? And she did call on him. Luckily for him, in this case, law enforcement and the business community, Costco, came together, told law enforcement that this woman was making a false accusation and people that were in that store backed him up. But what would have happened if it was just his story versus hers? What would have happened? These are perilous situations that false 911 calls cause between law enforcement and the communities they serve, but it doesn't have to be this way. AB 1775 would impose a fine or misdemeanor on a person who knowingly uses the 911 system for the purpose of harassing another. Number two, it'll enhance penalties for knowingly making nine false 911 calls, system calls targeted at a member of a protected class, amend the Civil Service Code section on privileged communications to make clear that making a deliberately false report to law enforcement targeting another one is not a privileged communication. Establish that making or threatening to make knowingly false reports to law enforcement with reckless regard to truth or falsity constitutes intimidation by threat of violence under Ralph's Civil Rights Act. AB 1775 is a careful balancing act to ensure that we do not discourage people from reaching out in emergency calls and include language to ensure that people who suffer from mental illnesses are not unintentionally uh, scooped up. AB 1775 ref reflects a united voice between both the Senate and Assembly Public Safety Committee Chairs, Assembly Member Chair of uh, the Assembly Judiciary Committee, uh, Assembly Member Stone, and Assembly Member Bonta all coming together to advance this important legis case, legislation. Support for this bill is growing by day, and it has no registered opposition. I respectfully ask for your eye vote.